Hi guys, today I want to show you my new electric bike. Okay, my name is Encher. Um, there is a couple of reviews on this bike uh, on YouTube. Um, I'm not gonna do any review how fast the bike is gonna go or anything like that. I just want to mention a couple of things if you want to decide to buy this bike or if you're thinking for an electric bike but you're not sure if this is the right one for you first I'm gonna start with the frame design the frame it's amazing the design whatever they did it's very clear and very nice um, the second part it's gonna be the wheels it's a Mac wheels, very interesting, lightweight. It is really, really nice decision to make this combination between the frame and the wheels. So, I'm gonna give you a closer view of the weldings on the bike. You can see it's a really nice weldings over here here and here okay so this is the part when you can pull the bike uh, can I do this one with one hand okay so this is the way how we're going to unlock and lock okay you can attach your bottle here the holder for your bottle water bottle yeah, you can see the the welding it's really nice okay on this side also okay. the paint quality it's also really good uh, looks like they use a quality paint and the blue part is metallic the white one it's not metallic but the blue one it is metallic okay so here is the uh, motor electric motor 250 watts um, it's really nice and the best part of this one is uh, the Mac wheel helps to cool down the motor it's way better than the other version um, all the heat it's spread around and it cools down quickly it doesn't get hot don't take me wrong but with the time it will get a little warm okay so this is the guard the guard the shimano and especially this is your cable that goes inside to the motor uh, make sure this is in the correct position because sometimes with the shipping process it's bended and will get some restrictions to the gears so make sure there's a side view how this car is supposed to look like front part it's a really good one shifts well no problem at all it's very smooth here's the pedals you know about this one okay let me see can you do it with one hand okay it's a foldable pedals but there is a catch okay this side this one it's a little noisy there is a clink noise when I ride the bike and make sure if you stand up okay make sure when you ride the bike and if you decide to stand up I don't think this is very strong it's all plastic and it may cause to fall down okay here is the suspension part okay there is a connection here there is another connection here there is another connection here and of course here and here everything is smooth there is no sharp edges everything fit perfect okay this is the shock absorber if you turn this into your right 
it's gonna get more stiff if you turn to the left it's gonna be a little more soft okay. this is your controller all the electronics is here front suspension okay seems to be really good quality it doesn't shake it's very um, it doesn't move over here there are some bikes when you push the front brake and you push it down you're gonna see some movement here it's gonna start playing around no with this bike it's very firm it doesn't move around and it handles really well all the bumps okay okay I didn't even take down the plastic from the headlight and it you can see it's moving I didn't even tie it up very good there is a, a home inside okay and yeah, here this is the light but it's already it's still in the plastic okay here's another catch that you have to know for the brake so when I install the brake the inner the inner part was touching the disc so what I did you're gonna see probably here from the side let me see let me turn the wheel you can probably see the washer over here so what I did I have two washers between the the brake and the fork one more over here and I use them as the spacers so this is the way to push the the brake mechanism to the wheel very little it's tiny probably less than a millimeter and this is giving me enough room to get the, the disc with a good clearance and right now the disc it doesn't touch the brake okay here's another thing that you have to know be careful with this this is made when you fold the bike it's like a, a little stent and this is definitely going to help you when you fold the bike but when you ride the bike this could be a danger I'm not sure but I'm thinking to remove this one maybe someday in the future but for now I'll keep it okay battery this is the battery 8.5 ampere hours if I'm not mistaken okay this is the way how I connect it here I guess I have to tie this one up a little bit more okay seat this seat is not original the original seat is really firm and it's definitely not the best one so I purchased this one from Amazon and you can see there is a springs underneath and it's extremely soft this is probably one of the best seats that I have on bike it's a really really nice seat okay so this is not original, this is Bluetooth speaker. As you can see, okay, there is a holder. This is the speaker itself and it fits really good over here. Okay, make sure when you pull the speaker, don't drop it down because sometimes it's kind of little hard, you see how it is just jumping okay so this uh, bluetooth speaker this is probably one of the best uh, bluetooth speakers that i have the sound is clear really clear one and the battery life it's probably over 10 hours with nice uh, quality there is no room for memory card inside so you have 
power button here and you can change the sounds here and also the volume and this one is uh, waterproof if I'm not mistaken and I can use it also on my kayak if you decide to buy a speaker a good quality speaker this is the good choice I will have some links to the review with the speaker um, probably with the bike too and the seat this is important the seat too okay so how long this bike can go if I'm not mistaken it's advertised without pedal assist to get around 15 miles with the pedal assist the bike must go around 30 miles my personal experience showing me that I use it one day only on battery yes I did close to 15 miles but there is no flat road it was a little up and hill little downhill and of course flat roads uh, pedal assisting it's really amazing when you so this is the way how you turn okay so this is the very low pedal assistant so as soon as you turn the pedal the motor will kick and it's going to give you very little push okay if you switch to, to me when you turn on the pedal the motor is going to kick again it will give you a little extra push and this is the high one you're gonna have a lot of help over here okay so this is the way to turn off okay I guess I have to just push it once not holding it you see if you're holding the bottom the motor will kick it just push it once battery level this is important you have to know when you charge the battery you're gonna have these five red dots for on but as soon as you start using the bike uh, you're gonna lose one right away I don't know if this is a bad battery or it just this is the way it is speaking for the battery you have to know something this is really important so the battery is here let me open it first you're gonna see it okay so this is the battery some batteries they may have a different color okay speaking for the battery when you use the bike the battery will get warm definitely not hot hot but you're gonna feel some warm from here and the other part when you charge the battery I will give you some picture on the video showing the charger charger get really really hot I will say even extremely hot make sure when you charge the battery you have to be around you have to make sure this thing doesn't catch on fire if you want to add some fan to cool it down it's going to be probably a good idea but definitely the charger is extremely hot you have to be around the bike when you charge the battery or around the battery you can remove the battery this model here is the charger port you can remove the battery away from the bike and definitely definitely keep an eye i'm planning to attach some fan or something when i charge the the battery because it's really really scary other than this bike is really really nice a really really good bike with a good quality of the material it's aluminium bike everybody says this bike is heavy it's not that heavy believe me you can lift the bike with only one hand it's not heavy it's a nice quality no sharp edges um, they spend a lot of time and a lot of effort to create this bike okay 
how to extend the, the range how long can you go I say but how can you get extra miles you can get extra miles by purchasing a second battery um, I will post some pictures and links on Amazon where can you buy extra battery I don't think the battery is gonna be the same brand as this one but I believe you can charge with the same charger I see the battery is coming with the extra battery is coming with charger too and there is a few type of different batteries you can buy uh, 10 ampere hours if I'm not mistaken 14 and 20 so the 10 looks like it's gonna be pretty much the same size as this one and this one is not heavy at all okay uh, the 14 is little bit bigger and the 20 is definitely bigger so where can you attach the, the extra battery you can get a rack over here and you can have the spare battery on top it's not necessary to connect the cables it just keep it as a storage and use this battery to the moment when it's die and then you can just remove the battery from here switch the battery have the new battery here get the older one there and you can just keep going keep going okay if the bike is capable to do around 15 miles uh, with the original battery I believe the second one if you purchase 10 ampere hours you're gonna get probably 17 around 17 maybe 18 miles so total is gonna be you're looking for over 30 miles with two batteries and this is what I'm going to do in the future I will buy a second battery and I'll attach the second battery and I'll have it and I have the battery with me okay I want to mention something else you can also use this frame um, with a gas engine I believe it's possible I will do some pictures and I'll show you uh, what kind of vision I have to install the uh, bike engine here there is a plenty of room to install the engine here and I have idea for the bracket, how the bracket supposed to go here. And I'll do this on probably on separate video. I don't want to say that I'm going to destroy my bike and I have a gas engine. I'll keep this bike definitely electric. I need this bike as electric. But you can buy the same frame, the same bike basically without all the electronics, without electric motor. It's going to be a steel frame, it's not going to be aluminum frame, but definitely I believe th there is a possible to install a uh, moped engine, gas engine to this frame and I'll share my idea with you guys. So maybe some of you, you want to keep a, a electric bike and a gas bike, the way I, I want to do it too. I have a Peugeot moped. I have a Honda CT70, I have a, this bike, and maybe someday in the future I will have a, a gas bike again too. Okay, so but this is a subject to different video. I'll do my best um, to share this information with you. And I hope you guys like my videos. I know I have a big accent speaking English, but this is the way it is. Thank you for, for watching my videos. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to like my videos. And I wish a nice day for you. And good luck buying this bike.